Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're jumping in here to American Truck Sim, and we're taking a load of cables from Fort Collins up to Laramie. And I drove over here, got service on the truck on our More Freedom Peterbilt, our 389, with 239,000 miles on it. That's all driven mostly in multiplayer over the last three and a half, almost four years of trucking with the guys in the more freedom of uh, vtc so we do that on monday nights on twitch but uh today is going to be a channel update as because you're wondering about what's going to be going on on the channel so i figure let's get a channel update let's get the f truck fired up let's get out of here and let's get on the road i am using my g29 today and uh, I do use the shifter. So get the parking brake off. But let's get going. Uh, we I use the Z mods for my... In I don't know. I'm dyslexic. Let's just go with that. Let's get out of here the correct direction. Anyway, so I do use the Z mods. Oh goodness. Yeah. Turn left. For all of my for my engine sounds. That's what I'm going with. We're going Z mods for my engine sounds and I need to concentrate. Actually need to learn how to drive. You know, all that stuff. So anyway. If you're wondering what I use, um, I do use Z mods. I can't remember if this is the Big Cam Cummins or if this is one of the other ones. So, but anyway, you've come over here to see the channel update. So let's go through our channel update for what are we in? We're in April. Yeah, April, April of 2024. So. We just got done doing Planet Zoo for the Blue Star Bay Zoo, and we did the Cargo Hub in Transport Fever 2. I had to remember which games we were playing. Um, so, what do we got coming up next? Let me get to this stoplight so I can actually concentrate. I suppose I could turn off my Jake break. I'm just so used to having it on. Oh, no way coming. Let's go. Send it. So I make wide right turns. But yeah, we just got done playing Transport Fever 2 and Planet Zoo. And so what's coming up in the future on YouTube. So I've not quite decided what I'm playing on Mondays yet, um, which is tomorrow. And so I haven't recorded my Monday video yet. And I've, I've been trying to decide between a couple different things. Um, it, it's it's going to depend. So it's you'll see it tomorrow. <laughs> But I'll figure out what we're playing for tomorrow, well, well, what I'm playing. And so the way tomorrow's game will work is it'll be, I think it's going to be eight weeks because two of the weeks that will be normally the 10 week process are going to be the IROC series races. So we'll have, we'll have the IROC series races and in two of those weeks so eight weeks of whatever we're playing on monday and then on wednesdays for the next 10 weeks will be railroader so i'm very excited about that game i haven't played it yet haven't recorded the video on it yet and i've seen a few videos and uh, you know like i have railroads online and my initial plan was to play railroads online for 10 weeks and get into all of that and i like railroads online it's a neat game i don't want to spend 10 weeks building train track and railroads online i think that's my my thing is, is that like i just was like 
what do I want to do for the next 10 weeks? Not build train tracks and railroads online. Uh, it might be easier now, and I think at some point I want to get back into it, but it, this is this is not the time for that. Uh, so Railroader, on the other hand, already has all the tracks laid, and you get to do jobs and stuff like that. So my thoughts were between Railroader and Derail Valley, and I went with Railroader. And I think eventually I'm going to pick up Derail Valley and do that one. But, yeah, so Wednesdays will be Railroader. And I'm really looking forward to playing it. I I'll, I'll love trains. As you've seen a few of my IRL videos on the channel, a couple of them have been uh, train train spotting. Rail, fan, rail fanning. There we go. So I've done rail fanning. Oh, look, there's some cables. So I like trains, and, you know, I, I just... It seems like a good game, so I want to give it a shot. And if it's terrible, it's terrible. But it's also, and one of my things is, is that I don't buy early access games anymore. I think I was burnt. What game was it that I? I was just a game I bought that was early access, and I just got burnt on it. And I was like, I'm not buying early access games anymore. You know, I'm gonna watch. If I watch video, okay. So let me clarify that. I'll buy an early access game if it looks good. Like, I, I watch the videos. It doesn't look like it's not jank. You know, the developers are actively working on it. Kind of like, um, what is that? Seven Days to Die. You know, like, they've been in alpha for, you know, a decade or some insanity like that. And they're constantly working on the game, you know. So, yeah, we're, we're going to bypass that way station anyway. Let's be real honest. And so, since they're constantly working on the game, I, I have seven days to die, you know. But for the most part, I, I just got burnt on that one early access game. And I just, I was like, I'm tired of playing early access. I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore. So, I'm making an exception for Railroader because... It's fairly polished. It's not it's not even the full game yet, and it's pretty fairly polished from what I've seen. Um, and I think they're building a great game. So, like I said, I don't normally buy early access games, but I'm going to give this one a shot. I think a lot of it has been because, you know, early access games just generally... Yeah. If you've bought early access games, you know what I mean. So that is what we'll be playing on Wednesdays. And again, I will be thinking of what to play on Mondays. I'm not quite... I have two games in mind. And it's either going to be Sim Airport or it's going to be Microsoft Flight Sim. So it's going to be one of those two games on Mondays. And I'm not sure which one it's going to be yet. It depends. I bought some equipment for flight, Microsoft Flight Sim. I haven't bought the game yet. I had the uh, Logitech X52 already. It was actually my brother JTM's. And he let me borrow it, and I've been borrowing it for four years. And he hasn't wanted it back, so I'm going to continue to borrow it. So... Thank, thanks, bro. Um, so if he ever wants it back, he can have it back. But <laughs> And then I'll buy myself something else. I'll buy a, a yoke or something. But if the equipment I bought to mount it to my desk comes in in time, I'll, we'll be doing Microsoft Flight Sim. If not, it'll be Sim Airport. So it's not a surprise anymore. That's what we'll be doing. And I'm looking forward to either one. Uh, I love both those games, you know, like the simulation, like American Truck Sim. I love the actual simulation of doing driving, but I also love the simulation of building an airport or building a company or building a railroad or whatever, you know, like in Transport Fever 2. So 
that's what we'll be doing today or I'm sorry on Monday and then two Wednesdays will be railroader so either way I'm looking forward to both those games and again it's going to be for the next 10 weeks will be those two games and the more freedom series on Fridays and then we will come back to Blue Star Bay Zoo and the cargo hub so in 10 weeks the other two will be back for season two and a lot of that again is to so I don't get burnt out on it it allows me because with my actual real life job and I stream on Mondays and Thursdays right now because I was taking a little break from streaming for a month or so um, I'm trying to stream on Mondays and Thursdays so I'm basically producing content five days a week for the most part. I think Tuesdays is the only day something doesn't come out. So, but you get two for two for Mondays, two for Mondays. But yeah, so that's that's the game plan going forward. And that's the plan for basically the rest of 2024 is 10 week seasons for the games or Monday games will be eight weeks. But uh, with that IROC series sprinkled in, but yeah. That, that's the game plan for at least the rest of this year and we'll see how that translates to next year so you know I just like to give a little bit of an update I know that I had a couple comments on Blue Star Bay of oh you're you just got into it where uh, I was hoping you were going to continue it it will continue it's just I want to get uh, because I can only do I can only record on Saturdays or Sundays for a game I play and because I can only do that on Saturdays or Sundays because you know I work 40 hours a week at a normal job and I'm not complaining by any means I just time limited is my thing I'm just time limited so um and I have to have a, t a break in the middle of the week for myself because my job's super stressful right now. And if I don't take a break, I got to take a break from something and I can't take a break from my job. So it would be from either recording videos or streaming. And so I had to take a break from streaming a couple of days, uh, a day a week. So, but for those of you that hang out on Twitch, I tried streaming on kick. It is uh, awful. But for those of you that hang out on Twitch, uh, I'm very much appreciative of you coming over and hanging out and spending your time there. And again, I don't I don't make money from YouTube. And so it's if I ever got to the point where I was able to make as much money as I do in my normal job on YouTube, I would think about just doing YouTube. But that's a long ways away so anyway we're almost to the drop here so that's the game plan going forward and again I, I appreciate everybody that spends time here watching these videos and or spends time over on Twitch watching me play trucking on Mondays and we race on Thursdays so and if you're into Automobilista too oh we race Saturdays. So, I mean, I play a lot of games during the week. Uh, on Saturdays, we have a race series going in Automobilista 2. And this season is GT3s. And it might be just GT3s continuing on. I'm not sure yet. But we have a lot of fun with that right now. And well, there's only five people racing with no AI. So it can be interesting when you fall behind you know so but I have a lot of fun with that and then we again we race on Thursdays just doing sprint races in Automobilista 2 and then sometimes we also race on Sundays at night for the saw step and sideways race fun races which are yeah, usually in NASCAR Heat 5 
And those are just for fun. Again, Thursday and Sunday are for fun, and there, there could be alcohol involved in Sunday races. Sometimes Thursday races. So... Trying to extend my drive here a little bit so I can finish jibber jabber in. see what do we want to do nobody wants to watch me try to back this in so let's just pull it in wherever they want it I think you're supposed to put your hazard zone in here that's parking brake that's windshield wipers too many buttons there's too many buttons so, yeah, there's channel update for the next 10 weeks is what we'll be doing. And so if I get my equipment in in time, we'll be playing Flight Sim. If I don't, we'll be playing the other one, Airport Sim. And if I... But, yeah, definitely we'll be playing Railroader on... Oh, that's hitting the wall. Sure, that's fine. Oh, yeah, a little bit. See, aren't you so glad you didn't watch me back it in? I could have just backed it in through the door. That would have been fun. There we go. Right there. Turn off these. Turn off the engine, hit the button. All right, there we go. We're level 101. My level in this is like actual level. This isn't this. I started at zero. And when we started probably a little bit before we started doing multiplayer, I was trucking with this profile before we started doing the more freedom trucking part. And... This is level 101 in, I don't know, what, however long we've been trucking, and with 239,000 on this truck. So it's been a long time to get to this level, legitly, without adding money or adding levels. So, hey, that's going to do it. I appreciate you coming and hanging out and listening to me jibber-jabber ramble on about what we'll be doing the next 10 weeks. And again, we'll have another one of these videos in 10 weeks to tell you that I'm going to be playing... To cargo hub in the other one <laughs> in blue star bay zoo but uh hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you stick around for the new games coming out and uh, i'm looking forward to them a little bit of a uh just a rejuvenation for the game playing but anyway thanks so much for hanging out as always it's very much appreciated you could spend your time anywhere you choose to spend it here and i really appreciate it so you have a fantastic day and until tomorrow, in one of those games, we'll see you then. Take care.